Street cheering for the Tech Warriors continue. Thousands of Red Devils, the supporters of the national team, were gathered in Kwangamun Square in Central's home. Yishu was there to follow us this report. It's late on Friday night, but the Red Devils are back again in Kwangwamun Square. They're waiting for Team Korea's last chance at redemption in the 2022 World Cup. There is a midnight kickoff for two matches in South Korea's Group H. South Korea is playing Portugal and Ghana is playing Uruguay. The result of the last two matches of Group H will determine whether South Korea can move on to the round of 16. Anticipation fills the air. We're here to cheer for Team Korea, though we're far away and it's late at night. So we want the Taeguk Warriors to play their best and finish off strong. The Red Devils do what they're known for, cheering their heart out in unison. They momentarily fall in shock when Portugal scores after just five minutes. But that's not enough to silence the Red Devils, also known as the 12th Taeguk Warriors. I wish victory for South Korea. Go Team Korea! A glimmer of hope comes as player Kim Yong-won scores South Korea's first goal of the match after 27 minutes. The square is filled with joy as the fans jump and sing together. Team Korea unleashes its last burst of fire in the second half of the game. At last, player Hwang Hee-chan scores a momentous goal and the Red Devils cry in joy. At the final whistle, South Korea brings the victory home. The Red Devils continue to watch the match between Ghana and Uruguay as its result also affects Team Korea's advancement. The long-awaited moment comes at another final whistle. Team Korea and the Red Devils have made it. I was heartbroken that we couldn't take home victory during the first and second group match, but now that we have won the game, I feel exhilarated. The square will be filled with excited fans once again on Tuesday as South Korea plays Brazil in the round of 16. Lee Si-hoo, Arirang News.